Hi, I'm Jeff Hudson. I'm the CEO of Venify. And today I want to talk about the rise of the silicon-based life form. So if we look at how carbon-based life forms evolved, they started out as single-cell animals, amoebas, and then it took about four billion years as they went through evolutionary steps. And then in the last 10, 20,000 years, in the human evolution, they got all the way to the place in 1980 where humans could play a game show, a television game show, in the United States called Jeopardy. So that evolution occurred over four billion years. Now if we look at silicon, silicon started as a transistor in 1947, which is sort of the moral equivalent of an amoeba four billion years ago. So in 1947, a transistor showed up on the scene. And then in the subsequent 75 years, that evolved to where a computer could play Jeopardy, which is the same US game show, and actually beat that in that game, its counter, its carbon-based counterpart, carbon-based life form counterpart. So you have a four billion year evolution to where humans could play Jeopardy, and you have a 70 year evolution to where silicon can play Jeopardy. So that tells you sort of the scale or the speed of evolution that's occurring here. So if we look at the social evolution of humans, we, saw, we first showed up on the scene as hunters and then in tribes and then in, in towns and then states and nations. And if we look at silicon, it showed up as a mainframe and then a couple of mini computers and then server farms and then forests of servers. And now we have a Google, we have millions of servers. So the same thing occurs. In both of those cases, what's required is to deal with the increasing levels of complexity, the ability to authenticate, to keep secrets, to determine membership, to determine do these things belong together and how do we identify them. Well, in the, in the carbon-based life form world or the human world, what we have is tattoos and we have headdresses and we have secret handshakes and rings. We have birth certificates. We have uh, national ID cards. We have driver's licenses. In the silicon-based life form world, what do we have? We have IP addresses. We have SSL certificates and we have SSH keys. So in order for these two worlds to evolve, we've had to have these mechanisms that allow things to authenticate to each other and to keep secrets. So the carbon-based life form world had something, had one series of things, the silicon-based life form world has another. And that's really where certificates come into play and why certificates are really important. Now if you look at a village or if you look at a nation, you have a certificate authority. So most people have driver's licenses. Where do they get those? They get those from the Department of Motor Vehicles or they get the passport from the Department of State. In the silicon-based life form world, we have the same thing. We have certificates. Where do they come from? They come from a certificate authority, like a VeriSign or an Entrust or DigiNotar, something like that. So you get these different authorities that issue these different certificates to the carbon base or the silicon base life form worlds, but they have the very same mechanism in play. They help authenticate between one to another. So another phenomenon that we have recently witnessed is the advent of four billion IP addresses. So internet protocol addresses that were addressed using IPv4, which had a 32-bit address space, which gave us 4 billion addresses, roughly, has just been exceeded. The address space has been exceeded. So now we've gone to IPv6. So we have 4 billion IP addresses. It's projected that within the next 15 years, there will be 50 billion IP addresses. There is an IP address for one reason, and that is a piece of silicon that has an IP address wants to talk to another piece of silicon that has an IP address. That's the only reason there are IP addresses. So now we have over four billion of these things. The first thing this piece of silicon wants to know is who am I talking to over here? And that's where a certificate comes into play because an SSL certificate actually authenticates this, this piece of silicon to that piece of silicon. The other thing these two pieces of silicon want to do is want to make sure that when they communicate between each other, 
that information is not looked at by others or it's not changed by others. And that is the second function of an SSL certificate that allows these two pieces of silicon to authenticate to each other, to know who each other is, and then to keep secrets as they communicate. So certificates play a big role. The big role is, is, in, is in enabling the social structures of the silicon-based life form world to form up the same way the carbon-based life form world social structures have built up. And we can see this as they talk to each other using IP addresses. The certificates allow for the authentication and the keeping of secrets. Without those two factors, neither the carbon-based life form world nor the silicon-based life form world would have evolved as we know it today. So certificates are incredibly important to the evolving structure.